Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. This is a great question that I want to know the answer to. My daughter has autism and just got braces. She needs to have four teeth pulled. She will be put uh, under anesthesia due to sensory issues. Which form of anesthesia is better, IV shot or gas anesthesia? A lot of people are doing their dental appointments during the summer. Um, and these are the kinds of things that like I would then go, oh, I don't know. Is there one that's better or is it I child specific? I don't know. I don't know. I think that... I do know the person who would know this. Okay. Um, Andy Kaplan's mom. Okay. You remember Andy? Yes. Yes. So her mom, his mom, is a is a dentist. Oh, and we have very to book her to be on the show. Specifically. All right. Oh, she's fantastic. She's got to come on the show. She's fantastic. Okay, okay. So we'll get in touch with her and we'll find out. She actually like rearranged. Her name is Susie Kaplan. She okay. re rearranged her practice in order to be able to accommodate oh, individuals right. on the spectrum. Well, we will get that dentist yes, on here to sure. talk about that. Um, because there's a lot of things like that that I remember the first time that uh, Jem ever tested positive for the flu, and our doctor, our pediatrician, prescribed Tamiflu and wow. said, you know, take this. And there was just something in my gut that was like, why nope. do I think this is not going to work well with autism? And he was young. And I, I started calling people, and I actually, you know, TACA, we talk about TACA a lot on the show, uh, which now stands for the Autism Community in Action. Did you know that they changed no, their I name? Did not. It's, that's what it stands for now. And um, they have mentors, biomedical mentors. And so I called one of them and I said, hey, is this a thing? And she said, oh, you know, for some of our kids on the autism spectrum, it can be really bad because if you read the label, it says it can cause hallucinations. And for kids on the spectrum, they don't know what that is. It like is. that's a really traumatic thing for yeah, them. Yeah. And as a result, I said, well, what else uh, could and they, they said, oh, there's a great over-the-counter, um, it's uh, considered uh, homeopathic. They sell it in every single, like, drugstore now, that oscillococcinum stuff. Mm, yes, We've had course. them on the show because right. it's so good. Right. No big side effects, helps with the flu. That's true. I forgot flu. about that. That's right. Um, and as a result, because I was like, I, what do you give a kid? Yeah. So there's a lot of little things like that. Yeah. But we'll have this dentist on to talk about uh, which, what, which which Absolutely. circumstances you would do which one right. we'll figure that out. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.